everybody, it is Billy at BTOF. We are back with another quick addition to the reef. We are doing torches for dummies or lazy reefers like me. Uh, how you can keep torches without having to do a bunch of testing. There is a little bit of testing you have to do, but uh, I've really found the basic, the most easiest way to keep them. Uh, we also got a new shipment of corals from high voltage corals. Just the best deals, man. I'll tell you, seriously, like his deals, we'll get into it, I'll show you what I got, but super great customer service. And, uh, and it's not a paid deal, he's not paying me for this, but I do, like, like I said, I like pimping out people that um, you know are good people that are fair with people. So right, does that make sense? So anyway, we're gonna get into it. Torches for Dummies coming up on Be Tough. Man, let's get into it. Another adventure into the Color Blast Reef here. I'm really liking this thing where we're at. Um, this thing has gone through uh, different stages through its life. I've been, you know, this tank's been going for quite a while now. And there's been times when certain corals are more dominant and some things weren't doing that great and some things were doing awesome. But this is literally probably my favorite um, phase of this reef tank right now. It's just, I really enjoy it. I love the colors and everything. It's just really cool. But we are getting into torches today. So if you saw our last episode, hey, yo, Pappy, what do you do? It's not a Pappy video. Get out of here, Pappy, trying to steal the light. No, but uh, so this was our batch of corals that we got from High Voltage. I, I showed you last time, right? We had a gold, this uh, Dragon Soul or Hellfire, whatever you want to call it. And then we had the green with the purple, t with the purple blue tips. It's really cool. And I will tell you right now that their deals on the green torches is unmatched. Like this is a hundred dollars, dude. Okay. If you went in to the local fish store and got that size of torch and it's a, it's more green than you're seeing here. It's like really cool green. If you got that, you, you, they'd have like a $300 price tag on it. Right. 280, hundred dollars, dude. He's got that for and this one right here, dude, I got for like, I think either, I think, I think it was like 175 or whatever. This is like a really big dragon soul. I mean, dude, go, what are they going to charge you for that, dude? 300 bucks in a fish store, 400. I don't know. And then I don't know what they would charge for that. Look at that awesome gold, dude. Look at that thing, dude. Seriously. What else do you want? So anyway, and this one I got from another one. It's really cool too, because I really thought that was a, uh, a bland cor uh, torch. Like when I first got it. I didn't get it from him though. I did not get that from him. But when it's with all of these, that color palette, it looks really cool. And that look cool. It looks like he's got his own, like it really like complements everything. It's those four different color palettes on the torches. Okay, so that's that. So we did get those. Now we've gone to some new ones, dude. And dude, look at this. Dude, seriously, like those greens are unbelievable. Like this camera does not do it justice, right? And you can see we got another, Hellfire or Dragon Soul underneath it. I was kind of wondering too, if I had that too low in the, like, you know what I mean? Cause I've got him kind of under everything, but he seems like he's pretty happy. I mean, dude, check out the extension on that. This is after like, like it was like this two days after in the tank, they were this full. So you're not gonna beat, and that was a hundred dollar green torch. You will not beat that dude anywhere. I might get some more, dude. I'm kind of, the thing is they're so darn addicting, dude, getting them. And then we have this one back here, which I think, dude, I might be wrong, but I think it's a cotton candy. I could be wrong. And this one was mine. The one next to it was mine. And actually that one was not doing that good because it fell in the sand when I was gone. It was upside down for like four days in the sand. And, uh, but he's kind of bouncing back now that I kind of tucked him in there with all the torches with the rest of the ones I got from high voltage. And it's really good. Okay. So there's our high, there's our new additions of the torches and they are looking like super awesome right now. And uh, I do try to keep them away from, um, I just turn the lights on dude. So not everything's fully extended, but I do try to keep them away from the other euphilias. In fact, I'm kind of a little bit, I'm really keeping an eye on this because I really do dig this guy and I don't want that dragon soul to get a hold of him. So I may end up moving this guy, right? But uh, this one looks really cool. Maybe I'll move all these like on this one center rock here and have like a, I don't know. I was thinking about picking up some gold because they do have, some really at high voltage has some really nice golds too that I'd really like to maybe try out some hammers and stuff. They have some really cool stuff. But um, let's talk about what I do on the torches because I do not test calcium, I do not test magnesium, and those are critical to torches. So how do you do it? Well, and I'm sure we're going to get some people here. They're going to say, 
Uh, that is reckless reefing. But dude, I've had a lot of, look at these guys, dude. They bicker sometimes, look. They have all these, they have all these toastals, not to go on the subject here, but they all want to be in the same place. So wherever someone wants to be, they'll bicker. Isn't that crazy? They're really cool though. But anyway, uh, back to the torch. So um, yeah, I don't test those. Now, one thing that I am testing that you will need to test, this is so critical because I have tried torches in the past and I didn't have very good luck with them. And that is because I was not testing the alkalinity. And you absolutely need to test the alkalinity because I actually did a test on the alkalinity when, um, uh, you guys have been asking, please tell us what the alkalinity is. Please tell us what the alkalinity is because I told you I don't test anything, right? So I went and tested it and it was 5.1, right? And I don't, do, I don't do water changes. So that tells me that it will stabilize at 5.1. Now, you can get by, like the tank will, corals will like hang out, but they won't thrive. Like I never had the extensions that these are shown. Like this guy right here, this guy's so extended. It just tells me like all these euphilias are super happy with the elevated uh, alkalinity to nine, between eight and like eight and a half to 12 is where I keep it. And um, I'll show you how I do that, but let's get into it. And you, some of the stuff you may have seen that I talk about, but I wanna show you like what my regimen is. So first of all, I'm gonna get into the alkalinity. Let me show you the test kit that I bought. It's worth 80 bucks and it is worth it, every penny of it. All right, so here is the test kit that you absolutely want. This is a necessity. I mean, it's it's 80 bucks or so if you can find it. And sometimes you can find them half off with the older, um, you know, the re regents, I think they're called, uh, inside there. But if you can find one half off, grab it because the region inside is probably still good. But you can get the regents for super cheap. And so I would highly recommend if you can find one that has old regents in it, they're giving it a discount to get that. I'll open up the kit real quick. And like I said, this is like super important because it works with your, I think the uh, alkalinity, whoops, watch, hang on. Alkalinity has a di direct correlation with calcium and pH. And so it's super important um, to have. And this is the test kit right here. It's super easy to use. Um, you know, basically you take one of these beakers right here, you fill it full of water, you stick it in this, push the button, then you put, uh, I don't remember how many milli, I don't, I don't remember what it is, but there's a certain amount that you, in the syringe they give you, you just take it out of there, you put it in the glass beaker, then you put it back in here and hit the button and it'll tell you exactly what you have. Super easy to use and super critical for having super growth on all your corals, but especially the euphilia stuff. They just go bonkers when you get this up right. And this all, will also help you keep your pH higher because if you have your alkalinity really low, a lot of times your pH will take a dump. Okay, so what am I using to supplement the uh, alkalinity? And this is really cheap stuff. And I'm sure some people will say that's not good, but I don't care. And it looks like it's a, I don't know, it's Reef Builder. It's really cheap. I just bought this. I don't know where I got this, dude. Maybe Amazon or something. I don't know. But you want to get one of these. They're really cheap. And then what I do is I have a, I'll show you here. I've got this five gallon deal here that I did start putting RO water in. I know I used to use tap water, but I'm putting an honest effort on this thing. But I would still venture that I could use the tap water. But um, you just put five teaspoons or tablespoons in with this five gallon. And then when you do your top off, because I don't have an auto top off. So if you do a top off, you just five tablespoons of that stuff I just showed you, and you put it in there, you just use it your top off, you'll probably be on the money or really close to it without even having to check anything, okay? So that's that. Okay, we got that. Now, uh, I wanna go to this. Now, I've showed you guys this before, and this is where I start losing some reefers, like the hardcore dudes, because they laugh, or they don't laugh, but they probably don't respect that I don't test calcium or uh, uh, magnesium. So, this is the C Lab 28s. You get these on Amazon. And I have used in my 20, let me see how many years I've been reefing. Dude, a long time. 25 years. I've used these with great success. And I've never, ever, ever had anything bad, regardless of how many I put in. Okay? Yeah, I would just get this one. I would not get the single big block. I would get these ones. And they come with uh, what? So that would be 16, I think 16 blocks. And I just put two in, so I'm not gonna plop two in. And you just grab these, you don't even think about it, and you just throw it into your aquarium, boom. And it has like 28 trace elements, including calcium. And it, 
they say it automatically um, replenishes what you need and you don't have to ever worry about overdosing. So that is what I use for my calcium. And I've never checked calcium. And dude, look, talk about calcium. So I use those. Look at this thing, dude. Look at it. It's a monster. And so I have some things in my tank that use a lot of trace elements. And um, yeah, so I use those and everything is still pumping, right? So now I wanna leave you with the final thing that I do. And this is the thing that people will say is reckless, but I don't care. I'm just telling you what I do and it's worked out good for me. Magnesium. If you have euphilias um, that maybe are kind of closing up a little bit, don't seem like they're hitting on all eight, just like, I don't know, you know when you're like, you can tell this guy's stoked, right? I mean, look, that's like textbook torch as far as extension, right? Look at that thing, dude, boom. If for some reason you see all of a sudden some of your euphilias tightening up a little bit where they maybe don't look as great as they maybe did at some point, magnesium, dude, is where I would start because magnesium, first off, magnesium helps the calcium work and it is usually uh, a good, in your tank. that's usually a good indicator in your tank is that you're low in magnesium when you start seeing euphilia start to tighten up. And so I just take this right here and I don't even, I know I should probably do some, I just do like a squirt bop, bop, and I've never had any issue with anything bad happening when I do that. And usually, I'm not even kidding, these things will perk up, dude. Like almost like hours, you know, within 24 hours for sure, but almost like within hours they start perking up. They love magnesium. So if you do, um, for some reason, have euphilias and you need to dose something, that's what I would do. I've never, I've never ever tested for magnesium. I know that's reckless. I don't care. That's, you know, that's part of being a lazy reefer, dude. You don't get this title for nothing. But uh, that is how I'm keeping the torches right now. Um, yeah, I just, I'm really excited about it because like I said, that alkalinity tester showed me, I mean, dude, look at this, dude. I mean, what else do you want, dude? I mean, I know people say, dude, those are like basic corals. All right, that's all good, dude. But the thing is like, you know, I'm pretty happy with the way everything looks. I mean, dude, look, the polyps look stoked. These guys look super stoked. Look at these, those are going crazy. Look at those things, dude. Aren't those cool? I picked those up from Coral Life, by the way. Those, those uh, Spider-Mans and the uh, Fruit Loops and stuff. But, um, and these Midas ones, those are cool. And I've also got these, I think are Jungle Juice. I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's what, I did do one mistake though, in that I moved this guy over here, I think it's a bird's nest, and he fell in Torch headquarters, dude. Oh my gosh, dude, talk about getting your butt kicked. And it did, dude, it kicked his butt. See the edges there? But the other sections look really healthy. I'm expecting that to bounce back, so I'm not too concerned about that. But um, yeah, that's what I'm saying. And I've got some other corals in here too that are doing really good with my methods of reefing. So like I said, it's, and like I said, this is a big plate coral here, and or big money money cap. And I mean, dude, look how much calcium does that thing absorb? How many like nutrients or how many like you know what I mean? Elements does that thing absorb a lot? And you can see the growth if you look at the end. Look at the growth on that dude with the C Lab 28s, dude. No cal. I'm not dosing any calcium, dude. All I'm doing is the C Lab 28s. And look at that growth, man. Look at all that white trimming, dude. That, that thing is really growing good. Look at that. And that's with Poppy nib, nibbling at it, dude. He, he nips at this stuff. But so that method I told you with those C labs and testing the alkalinity will allow you to keep, you know, definitely like here's a jack-o'-lantern. I don't know what that is. I bought that. It's expanding out. And like I said, Bird's Nest was doing great until I did that to him. So it, it's going to allow you to keep some pretty good corals just based on that method right there. And look at the extension on these, dude. Look at that, look how puffy that is. See that right there? That's super puff, dude, right? I mean, look at these white ones. They're so puffy, dude, that they're like, they, they're like running into each other, right? So anyway, there you go. A quick look at the reef. Um, if you have any questions, drop it down. I'll try to share like what I know. I'm not the smartest guy but I kind of figured out how to make this happen. And uh, yeah, like I said, if, you know, reach out, if they have a page actually um, on Facebook, if you want to reach out to the um, high voltage corals and he's a pretty good guy, you know, and you never know, man, if you order enough too, every once in a while he throws in bonuses, dude, without telling you, and it's, it's kind of a nice surprise. 
So he's a, he's a good guy, dude, literally. And uh, anyway, there you go. A trip back to the reef to talk about torches for dummies. I hope this helps someone out there. I hope someone who has struggled with torches sees this and say, oh, okay, that's cool. And uh, tries it. So I don't do a lot of water changes either, by the way. I know I know a lot of reefers out there do water changes. I mean, if you see two of the two water changes a year, that would be a surprise for me on this thing, dude. I don't do a lot of them. So anyway, look at this, dude. They're bickering. Look at that. Why not just go over here and enjoy this one? No one's even over there. They all want, they all want the same one. Anyway, there you go. Thanks for watching. This is Billy at Be Tough.